Okay, I'm back, whew, back to Honeyway, back to Honeyway Lake, and I got my first largemouth of the day, and I'm super happy. I've been fishing for hours now, and nothing. I caught this on top water. First bass, largemouth bass ever caught with a top water frog. Uh, dude, I'm super stoked right now. I'm super happy. This is awesome. Uh, there's another, they're all, they're all over here. Caught them right, perfect, square. In the middle of the mouth. God damn this and that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this net now. This net is just a waste of my time. <sighs> this is turning into a bear, finally. Sorry, guy, man. I know this is way longer than it's supposed to be. Finally. Bam! It's a nice size largemouth. Look at that bad boy. Huh? Huh? Well, we're gonna put this guy back because he's been out for a while. There he goes. Should have weighed him. Oh, why didn't I weigh him? You know what a catch I've been using this frog all morning and I had a hit <clears throat> the second cast of the morning I had a hit and I lost it I didn't set the hook and then I've been using it all morning ever since and I haven't got another bite for probably two hours and then I took this little uh, rivet changed the color up I had a different I had a white bottom with a dark top and I changed the to this color, this green, this light green, and I threw this on there, and I think maybe three casts, and cast it right into, into a little shoal thing, and grabbed it, I waited, I set the hook, I did everything perfect, I fouled the technique, oh, I'm, just, I'm so excited I just caught that fish on, on this, on this, yes, yes. That was exciting. Top water is exciting. That was exciting. I hope to get five more like that today. What a day would that be? I mean, it's already been, it's already an awesome day because I just did this, but yeah, let's keep it up. Large mouth number two, baby, and it's bigger. Top water, oh my God, I'm killing it. I'm killing it on this top water. Why did I get you? Where'd I get you, fella? Okay, all right, I see. I see, I got you in the roof of the mouth. Got him. Oh man, I'm weighing this guy. I'm weighing this guy. He's probably pulling two pounds, but for me, this is a, uh, this is a big large mouth for me. Two pounds. Two pounder. Look at that fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See ya. Oh man, this is fucking awesome.
sitting in the same spot too just sitting here redoing my ribbit frog and just throwing it in and as soon as it gets over the middle of all this green algae shit all over the top fuck boom i missed three and i got three so i'm 50 50 right now i'm getting better i just it's that when they hit it it's so exciting that you just want to react immediately every instinct every cell in your body is just telling you Wrap, reel it in, there's a fish on there, but you gotta wait, you gotta pause, you gotta let them take it for a second, and then you give it that go. So you just gotta fight that urge, and more and more practice I'm getting at, I'm getting better at doing it. I'm, this is awesome. Okay, hopefully we get a monster, huh? Bass number four. Second cast from catching bass three. Number four. They all look like about, you know, a pound or two pounders in between there. But they're all over the place, and this is super fun. Okay, number four. got to use the same same plastic the whole time. Caught three fish on this plastic right here. Just keep re resetting it up. Just ready to go again. Okay, this is the littlest one I've ever caught. Or ever caught, but I caught today. Seven. That's number seven. Another big guy. You know what? I had this hooks. Ooh, I gotta wait. I gotta wait to the thick spot. I got this hook set up in this worm, and I put a new worm on, and I started losing all these fish. Another deep size, probably another one and a half to two pounder. Good fish. I started putting this hook on. I put this new hook on here and or this new rubber on there because the other one was getting beat up. And I wasn't losing all these fish. I was losing, I was losing, losing. And then I realized I had insert in the back here where you put the hook in, and their butt. I put it in kind of too far back here. And what it did was it was too much space, so it kind of folded it. And every time 
kind of folded it like this. It kind of crunched the, the frog together. And every time a fish hit it, this tip of this hook here, instead of spearing outwards, instead of the, 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 the fish hitting it and then it's sticking in like that, it would bow up and the fish, the hook would stick back into the worm or the, into the frog. So it would stick in instead of come up out of the frog. And so you gotta be careful. Don't put it too far back here in the butt because it'll just crunch the frog up. You gotta, it's right around here is kind of the sweet spot. And then that hook just kind of lays right in there in that groove. And it keeps your, keeps your weeds out from, from there for the most part, you know, you don't get tons. And then it's a nice, easy hook set, you know, and I'm, I'm losing so many less fish doing it this way. One. Oh, this guy's a big one. He's a big one. Oh, where's my fucking... S Look at that monster. Oh, we're waiting. This guy... Two point two show the guys but fuck it just catch some more sweet man that's like number eight or seven or eight okay this might be like largemouth number 10 today and actually we had a he's a this guy was a fighter having a hell of a day here at Honeyway Lake. This is some of the best bass fishing. This is awesome.